Dash. The Ryan said that was a positive great news. Someone told me to treat the rule well. Peace, blessings, satisfaction to the act of my hair. That's a great applause to the four corners of the earth. That's serving the truth and not truth and sincerity. To you, I say, Shalom. This is just going to be a quick and transit video. Now, what I'm going to talk about is it's really time to tighten up out here, brothers. You know, as we can see, the spirit, the spirit is moving. And it's been on brothers to to really, um, you know, as being a shepherd, you know, keep an eye on their flock. So, you know, the spirit is uh, tightening up around here, making sure brothers sharp, making sure brothers, you know, have proper breakdowns and um, are just doing the things they're supposed to do in the spirit. And, you know, while this is going on, you got to make sure that you're constantly examining yourself as this process is going on. Because one of the brothers brought out that, you know, we're getting close to the Passover, as, as everybody know. And, you know, right around the time of the Passover, a clean house happens, which is, um, you know, brothers, you know, start getting rid of this thing or falling out or falling out. So you want to make sure that, you know, the Lord don't put that spirit on you to be one of those brothers. Because you don't want to be in this thing, you know, doing all this, you know, doing all this works and labor and it all be for nothing. You know, you don't, you don't want to do that because that's, that's a shitty feeling in itself. You know, I can imagine that, you know, you out here, you know, deceiving yourself, but the Lord really deceiving you, you know, thinking that you in the truth and that, you know, you really doing this thing. And they say, you know, you know, you back in the world, just like that. And now you even got, and the scriptures talk about how people who's been in this truth, how they go back in the world, you basically make it, making it, um, worse for yourself you know because you you know better now you know right from wrong so it's really no no excuse or no cloak for your sins that you will have you know if you go back in this world once you've been part of this truth because you know better so yeah but it's time to tighten up you know, we got to make sure we're sharp you know um things are coming down to the wire now you know he he is constantly picking up and it's all it's all through the lord but the lord got him really picking up and uh i was just talking to the brother not too long ago about this and you know he the scenario he gave was you know how excited we are to get out of here brothers you know to to, to um to be joint heirs with a uh, yahweh shot you know to be being up in the church you know how excited we are to you know to to have that you know to have the uh laws program inside of us and to be, Lord willing, be a part of that number, the elect. But just, just how excited we are for that, you gotta imagine how, how fearful and sorrow the elites and these Edomites are out here feeling for knowing that they're about to go into captivity. You know that they're about to, you know, have to pay back for everything they have done throughout the years. You know, so you got to understand with that being said that the wrath that they're going to come down because of that fear that they have, you know, that, you know, he's not going to go down easy. You know, he's not going to go down without a fight and he's gonna, and he's not, he know he's on a, a seeking ship, but like, like a seeking ship, he's trying to bring down whoever else with him, you know, whoever, as many people he can take with him down, he's going to do it. So we got to understand that right now we're going through is really a trial area and a trial error and a test from the lord because you know being in this thing we understand you know the lord knows us he knows everything about us he knows how to tempt us he knows how to deliver us out of that temptation but we gotta understand it's all coming from the lord but you know it is really about to be swifting season the lord is really about to be showing who he's really dealing with and who he's really not as far as these other camps that he's really not dealing with as well as when it comes down to brothers in brothers in the camp under the uh umbrella of gms you're going to start swipping brothers out as well so you want to make sure that you know you want to make sure you really count the cost of this thing and you want to make sure that you're really in this thing and really serious about this thing and not just you know doing this just to be doing it because you're not you know deceiving nobody but yourself you know you can't you can go out and show face you know, out in the flesh, but you know, uh, it's all about the spirit. And you know, brothers that've been in this thing for a minute, you know, they're they're pretty good at 
you know, reading reading your spirit and, 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 and having a good understanding of, you know, who who is who and what is what. That's why the scriptures say to try the spirit by the spirit. So you want to make sure that, you know, you're on point, brother. You know, it's really coming down to crunch time. And we don't really got too much time to, to really be yes. And I, and I understand it. That's why, you know, I, I honestly like it that, that things are turning up around here because, you know, it, like people in the world say, it's time to separate the real from the fake. You know? And and I and I and I'm uh, and I'm uh I'm intrigued by it because you know I know where I'm at and what my faith is in the Lord, but you know you never know where nobody else is, and you know I know I'm gonna be tested, and I know the Lord is gonna test other brothers as well, and you know my my trials and tribulations can be as a testimony to help us get through some as well as whatever the other brothers are going through it can be a testimony to help me probably get through something. So. We got to make sure that we, we are going down the right path and we're on the right track. Because, um, you know, we're being, we're being raised up and we're being, uh, we're being taught these things to, so we, because for us to become, you know, the teachers, you know, to, for us to really become the prophets out here, you know, because we have to be able to lead by example. So we have to know things, you know, we have to be ready to give an answer. You know, we're not going to know everything, but the things we should know and have to know, we have to make sure we know them. So, you know, get on it, brothers. You know, this ain't this ain't the time to be um to be slacking. You know, of course, you know, have your balance in this thing. You gotta have your balance, but continue like like um one of the brothers said again, can continue to put on the new man and put off the old man. You wanna continue in in, in um in that spirit. So yeah, just a just a quick video about tying up brothers you know you know continue to examine yourself you know continue to take us us continue to uh, continue in this truth you know continue in the scriptures continue to apply the scriptures to the best of your ability and uh let's go let's get ready to get out of here like uh the brother that's a zach if i'm not mistaken uh like he says a uh, pre pre chariot mindset so start arming yourselves with that mindset now that pre chariot mindset because we're close we're real real close brothers you know we see it you know we, we you know we run the race we see the finish line we just got to get there so continue to keep, keep continue to keep them legs moving let's go so i'm gonna close out with that and give all praise to yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim kakadash shalom